だけどね。Hello guys, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a nice um, brushed metal um, texture using Photoshop CS3, CS4, and CS5, or CS5. The, the, this works for all of them, and it's, it's pretty simple to do. And, you know, it looks good, and you can add it to wherever you want. So we're going to start off by going to File, New, and we're going to make the width 700 and the height 600. Make sure your um, color mode is RGB color, and choose OK. So once we have this type the background, we need to make sure that our <coughs> our um, foreground colour is a dark grey, and the one I'm using is 7F, 7F, 7F. If you want to choose that, but you might want to look lighter. But I think this one looks nice. I'm making sure that my background colour is white. And first off, we are going to go to filter, r noise, add noise, and we're going to set the amount to 130. Making sure the distribution is uniform and monochromatic is checked. Um, choose OK. So now we have this. Um, looks pretty weird, but we're gonna we're gonna make that type of brush metal look come in now. So we're gonna go to filter, and we're gonna go to sorry um, blur. I'm gonna go to motion blur. We're gonna make sure that the angle is set at naught and the distance 50 pixels, and choose OK. So as you can see now, we have the brushed metal effect in the middle, but we have these uh, little bits going off a bit at the side here that we don't want. So it's an easy way to get rid of this, and you could delete them, or you could get the crop tool that's here. Um, it's the C has the hotkey, but if you have on any of the slice tools, just make sure the crop tool is selected. And for this, you want to make sure that you're just in front of where it starts to fade off, because you're going to have a bit of distortion. It's just going to click drag and let go and as you can see it sort of darkens out the background but if you hit the plus key what is it yeah um just yeah that one there and hit it as you can see the sides have just gone and it's just gone to this perfect um what can i call it canvas size to perfectly fit so there's none of that bits going off the edge so that's the tutorial guys pretty simple not much really needing to do and I hope you enjoy it, so please subscribe.